everyone. Welcome back. I thought we'd take a nice little break from the Learn This Lick lessons I've been doing over the past few months and try something a little bit different. A few years ago, when Steve Gadd's rudiment book, Gadiments, came out, I did a lesson, and it was received very well. So I thought today I'd take another one of his Gadiments and show you how we can apply it on the drum set. So if you own the book, you're going to turn to the rudiment called Flam Accents and Flam Paradiddles Displace, and we're going to focus on number two, and I'm going to show you how we can take this through various styles and apply it to the drum set in a fun and creative way. If you don't have the Gadamance book, I suggest you get it because it's pretty incredible. Steve does a great job with being creative with the rudiments. So let's dive in and take a look at part one of this lesson. Okay, in part one, what I'm going to do is simply play the rudiment on the snare. Yes, we have to be able to master the rudiment on the snare drum first before we can apply it to the drum set. So let's take a look at the gadiment just on the snare drum. Okay, now that we've got the rudiment sounding good in our hands, what we're going to do is play flat flams between the hi-hat and acrostic. cross stick. And this is going to set us up for a nice Brazilian feel. You can think of this as a bossa or a samba. And after we get the hands happening with the flat flams, I'm going to add the kick drum ostinato underneath that. Okay, so let's take a look at the bossa slash samba feel. Another way to be creative in this Brazilian setting is to put your left hand on the snare, put your right hand on the ride cymbal, but play the right hand accents on the bell and the left hand accents on the snare. And again, we're going to be utilizing flat flams. Once you get that happening in your hands, then you can add the Brazilian bossa samba ostinato in the feet. Let's take a look at this. Okay, another thing that you could do in a rock feel is you could play this rudiment as a cool tom-tom groove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the right hand on the floor tom and the left hand on the high tom. And again, utilizing flat flams, I'll play the accents in the correct spots. And then we're going to add an ostinato underneath it. So let's take a look at the gadiment as a rock tom-tom groove. Okay, and in the final part of our lesson today, I'd like to play this gadiment in a jazz feel. So we're going to first swing the gadiment on the snare, 
And then I'm going to apply a New Orleans second line feel to it. We'll have two different ostinatos. So let's take a look at the gadament used in a New Orleans feel. Okay, and what we're going to do now is use the gadamate as a four-bar drum fill. So if you look at this up on the screen, it's 16th notes, but we're going to now think of this as swung eighth notes, and I'm going to start with measure two so I can get back to the ride cymbal efficiently. So again, we're going to play right-hand accents on the floor tom, left hand accents on the high tom, and it's gonna be played as flat flams again. And then I'm gonna trade four. So I'm gonna play four bars of time, and then four bars of the solo, and then back to time. Okay, and that brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it and got something out of it. As I said before, I'm going to take a nice little break from the Learn This Lick lessons I've been doing and kind of branch off and get back to some other things I haven't done in a while. So, until next time, take it easy.